everybody. Thank you so much. Um, I did want to first start. Um, I had some slides available, but it looked like you weren't able to play the media, and that's okay. Um, three years ago, uh, I got a call. It was a Friday. Um, I too am in healthcare. And I got a call midday telling me that my son Michael had been in a motorcycle accident. And um, it changed my life forever. Um, a year prior, my son Michael and I uh, went to the DMV uh, to get his motorcycle endorsement put on his driver's license. And that was when he decided to check box yes to all of the organ tissue and eye donation on that chart. And I will tell you, um, it made the time that we had to make that decision. We were there to support a hero's wish. Um, and about four months after uh, we did our honor walk at UNC Medical Center, I wrote a letter, a very heartfelt handwritten letter, and I felt so impacted by this part of my life. I mean, I had to say goodbye to my 18-year-old son who I loved more than life itself. But I will tell you that knowing that he lives on in the lives of others, that he shares a life with others, and there are a community and there are families that are still thriving because of Michael's gift. I wrote that letter. I gave it to Catherine over at our aftercare with our OPO, and within a year, on August 4th, 2020, I actually got a instant message on my Facebook page from a young lady named Mallory, who told me that her father-in-law was Michael's Nobel Long recipient. And um, it had a phone number and the most beautiful comments about, you know, we realize that every day that we have with our dad is another day that you do not have your son. And it's one of those moments when you're, 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 you've got those doors of you've got this loss, but you've also got this love and you've got this camaraderie and you've got this extended family that isn't just a family, like friend family, but they are literally literally holding a piece of my baby inside. We spent Michael's 20th birthday with Harold and his family in Texas. And I will say Texas because here in Las Vegas, we do not have a transplant center yet. So it is my understanding that all of Michael's organs um, who were desperately needed here in Nevada had to go out of state. Um, you know, because we don't have the capabilities yet, but I know that we're gonna get one. <laughs> so um, I, I, we did, we went and visited Harold and his family um, in Texas. Um, and what was so impactful and so meaningful was can, can you imagine with every single time that that phone rings for an individual that is on a list, Every single time a call comes in, wondering, is this the call? Is this the call that's gonna change my life? Is this the second chance that we've been praying for? Yet, without donors and donor families, there are no survivors. Let me say that again. Without donors and without donor families, there are no survivors. So each and every single one of you carry a part in our story and the stories of the lives of that you touch. You are in this position because it is a calling. This is not something that you just choose to do because you need an income. That's pumping gas. Hey, that's Target, no offense. But you are literally, you are literally miracle workers. I, I, I cannot stress to you enough how important what you do every single day, the impact that you have on families and lives. Michael, Michael was a chart on somebody's desk. I know that. But in, in the impact and the 
part that you have in our lives, he, he is so much more, we are so much more, and you are so much more. I cannot thank you enough from the bottom of my heart what each and every one of you do every day. If it wasn't for Ray walking into our hospital room the day after this tragic accident to tell me that I was going to be okay and that there was a way for me to move on and there was a way for me to take my grief and harness it into something beautiful. But that is what brought me here today with all of you. This is a mission, this is a passion. I get to live with Michael and through Michael because of what each and every one of you do every day. So from me to our, from our family, I thank you so very much for having that part in our lives. Thank you.